What if I told you that you could taste one of the most beautiful places in China? Well, let me introduce you to my dad's Westlake Beef Soup, a profound culinary interpretation of the beauty of Hangzhou's Westlake. My chef dad will teach you the secrets to mastering the soup, starting with the beef. We'll start by cutting the beef into thin strips. Then lay down those slices and cut them into strips. Then turn the strips perpendicular and chop them into small pieces. Can I use other meats other than beef? <laughs> After washing the beef, we'll drain the water from it. Then set it aside to continue draining while we mix together and marinate. For the marinade, we'll use one tablespoon of cornstarch, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, and five tablespoons of water. Then mix together. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. We'll mix the beef with the marinade until it's well incorporated. With the beef prepared, we'll move on to our tofu. We're only using half of this tofu today. First, we'll cut into half inch thick slices. Then, cut perpendicular to create squares. We'll carefully flip the tofu onto its side and again cut half inch thick pieces. With our tofu done, we'll wash and chop the yellow chives. We'll first cut off and discard the ends. After cutting the chives, we'll move on to our last main ingredient. Cracking an egg carefully, we'll pass the yolk between the shells, letting the egg white fall into a bowl below. We'll pour the yolk into a separate bowl, then repeat that process for the remaining three eggs. With all our ingredients prepared, we'll need a wok for this special trick to get the best texture and flavor with the beef. Is there a way to make the meat not as clumpy? After just 30 to 40 seconds of part boiling the beef, we can turn off the heat. We'll drain out the water and set the beef aside to continue draining. In a large pot, we'll add a can of chicken broth. 
Sợp xế ngon gì? Là, nó cho bé cái sợi, đi rồi được quy sợi. Then we'll add six cups of hot water. Nó hơi phở là. Then we'll turn the heat to high and cover with a lid. West Lake Beef Soup, or Sai Wu Ngao Gang in Cantonese, is named after one of the most beautiful locations in China, West Lake in the city of Hangzhou. No element is an afterthought in the soup. The beef acts as a contrasting element in both color and flavor compared to the delicate egg whites, tofu, and chives. The ingredients levitate in a clear broth, making for a culinary expression of the lake's natural beauty. The magical ability of the soup to suspend its ingredients in the broth lies in its name. In English, we only have one word for soup, but in Cantonese, we have two. Gang is a unique Chinese category for soups that have thick broth, such as dried scallop and chicken soup. This is distinct from thin soups, which are called tong, such as seaweed soup. For your next family dinner, try making this nature-inspired soup at home. While waiting for the water to boil, we'll create a slurry with three tablespoons of potato starch. After adding the water, we'll mix. Then we'll take the egg whites and beat them. My dad prefers to use a fork here. We put the beaten egg whites aside and check on our pot. When the broth is boiling, we'll add in our beef and stir it around. Now, we'll add the slurry we mixed earlier, stirring while we pour it in. How do you get the perfect consistency of the clear broth without it being lumpy? If you use cornstarch, does it look uglier or doesn't change the color? To thicken it further, my dad mixes two tablespoons of potato starch with three tablespoons of water. Then pour in slowly while stirring like before. Now we'll add the tofu and stir gently to mix. We'll add the rest of the slurry while stirring. Now we'll add the egg whites for even more variety and texture. Tom from Patreon asks, how do you cook the egg whites so they're not broken up or lumpy? We'll scoop out the egg foam on the surface of the soup as much as we can. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. After scooping out the foam, it's time to flavor the soup. With the heat off, we'll season with two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of sesame oil. After mixing, we'll give it a taste test. Now, we'll transfer the soup to a serving bowl. After that, we'll garnish with some of our yellow chives, and we're ready to serve. Cheers! That is super good. So smooth. So soothing. I think the first time we ever finished a soup that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. <laughs>